Well, good morning. It has been bitterly cold here. And my truck would not start with the automatic start. So we uh, may have a problem. Ooh. She was not happy, but she started. Well, before we do anything else today, Christmas is over. I forgot to hit record getting this out the door. That kind of happens sometimes. But, Christmas is over. So today's video is supposed to be checking on the ice fishing or level of ice or people fishing. Ice fishing. Got sidetracked by Christmas ending and the need for that tree to go. Oh, I might recall a few months back, I had a company reach out to me. Whoop, oh, hang on. I gotta get my, here we go. I had a company reach out to me about testing out their chainsaw, handheld chainsaw. We're about to go cut up a Christmas tree with this four inch, 20 volt Seiko chainsaw. I love this little thing. Let's get to it. This is a powerful Not a sponsored ad, although they did give me this saw a while ago. I use this thing all the time. All right, we're loaded up. We're headed uptown to the studio. We're gonna drop the tree limbs off at our bin up there. Then we're going to head down to the Lake St. Clair to see what the ice report is, if there's even any ice, and we're going to check out the river as well. I'm kind of curious. It doesn't take much to get people on it, trust me. But it won't be this guy. All right, we got our Christmas tree dropped off. I just stopped at Canadian Tire to pick up some items for uh, another project we're working on. You'll see that in a different video. Uh, right now, we are heading out to Lake St. Clair and Lighthouse Cove. Is there ice or is there not? I did hear there might be ice in the canals. We'll check that out as well. But uh, we'll see you there. We are here, we are at the mouth of the Thames, where it goes into Lake St. Clair. There's two vehicles here, actually somebody's in one of them, somebody's in two of them. But, is anybody fishing? Looks like the Thames is froze over, again, I don't know how much ice is on there. That would be Lake St. Clair. 
appears to be froze, but I'm not sure how, again, not sure how thick the ice is. I'm not sure how far it is froze out there. I'm going to switch over to my phone. I think I see an ice shanty out there, but the GoPro is not going to pick it up very well. Really hard to tell from here. That looks like it might be a small ice shanty. As you can see, there's lots of logs out there. So it's kind of hard to tell. I don't see any snowmobile tracks, which means that might just be a pile of logs. Either way, this guy will not be caught on the ice. Go ahead and call me scared. I'm okay with that. Over my career, I've seen many, many people rescued off of Lake St. Clair, uh, including a few deaths, which is uh, not good at all, obviously. Anyway, we're gonna head over to Melody Drive, and what makes Plato's Cove unique is there's a series, and you guys have probably seen this in my videos before, there's a series of canals that are fed from Lake St. Clair. There's some guys fishing right there. Again, not think, sure how thick the ice is, but they're fishing, and they're, what they're looking for is a crappie. Another guy fishing here. The skating rink out there. It would appear the canals are either hopping or they're just testing it out to see what's going on. Lots of guys on this canal here. Got a few sitting here. Nobody on this one. Nobody on this one. This here's the last canal in this series, and there's a skating rink down there, but nobody's fishing. All right, switching back to my phone. I'm at the end of Melody Street, or Drive. And this area out here is Lake St. Clair as well. If you look way out there, like in the middle somewhere, you'll see ice shanties. There's guys out there fishing. That, my friends, is a hard no for me. Now, these canals, they produce a lot of bass, a lot of crappie, uh, a lot of big bass, too. And when a crappie bites on, it's on, and you'll see these canals full of people. Uh, right now, we're going to head down to Jeanette's Creek, where we do a lot of fishing, a lot of bass fishing, that is, and pike. And usually, this time of year, if there's no ice, the crappie start running into the shallows down to Jeanette's Creek as well, which we're going to hit those, but gotta be no ice all right here's another one of our favorite spots yeah she's froze over pretty good Lots of, lots of ice, I assume. Now you've seen a lot of bass caught out of here. My only concern with going out there to fish, on water, right now the water's probably about three feet deep. About two weeks ago I was trying to fish that, didn't catch anything, but uh, the water level was probably less than a foot. And last week we got a ton of rain and it brought those water levels up higher than normal. The water's all, all got to go somewhere, but it froze. So my concern is, is that there's a gap between the ice and the water. And yes, 
I go out there and next thing you know I'm up to my knees or my waist in water yeah call me scared I'm gonna say that multiple times call me scared I'm okay with it Let's, we're gonna check out the other spot right around the corner here it's like somebody cleaning off some hard to see with this GoPro but there's somebody on the ice out there whether they're cleaning off a spot to fish or making an ice rink and I see the water level has dropped here I fish here a lot as well yeah the water level is probably about normal sorry the ice level is about normal don't know about the water level but it is froze Got somebody doing some shooting over this area here. Not sure what they're shooting, but they're shooting. Let's move on. We're now in Jeanette's Creek, go ahead and down to the government dock. Again, you guys have seen me fish a lot down here in this canal here. It's a dead end canal, obviously. It's froze over. It looks like somebody might even be fishing on it. There may be three feet of water in here. Actually, we're gonna catch them on the way back. Now you you can ice fish in here. Uh, like I said, three feet of water. If you fall through, the bottom is mud, so you're gonna get you're gonna get your feet stuck in the mud. Right, let's get out here. We'll have a quick look. A lot of big bass in this water right here. I don't want to get too close. I can't remember where the edge is. But you see footprints out there. Somebody's been walking on there. I don't know. This makes me nervous. Now we have had about a week of below zero temperatures Celsius. You know, here's a couple days of minus 17, minus 10 uh, right now. It's minus five, so there, it, it might be safe. What did I say earlier? I'm just scared. We're gonna roll down to the end here. Now that's the only people I've seen fishing back there. We'll stop on the way back, see if they're catching anything. The end of this road is gonna open up into a parking lot and a boat ramp, and we use that boat ramp all summer long. couple cars down here is there anybody out in the river we are about to find out well there is I think a couple people fishing, but they're in close to shore. Now down there, probably about uh, six, seven hundred meters. That's the mouth of the Thames. Takes you down to Lake St. Clair. We were just there. Come down here. One guy fishing right there. Let's go see if he's catching anything. Didn't want to just stick a camera in his face there. So he's telling me that where he's at, there's six inches of ice. Fishing with minnows. And he says he's got a couple of small bluegills so far. Yeah. It's what it is. Six inches. That's more than I thought there was going to be out there. Oh. I see two cars down there, but only one guy. So it might be somebody down the river a little further. Anyway, that'll be your ice report. According to that gentleman, there is six inches of ice on the Thames River. I don't know how much ice is on the Lake St. Clair, nor am I interested in finding out. I got to get home. I got projects I got to finish. But there you have it. 2024 ice report. They're fishing and catching bluegill. We'll see you on the next one. And remember, 
get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Just not on the ice. Later.